<laughs> that is the way to travel, sister. You look like the queen of Makutano. Yes, it is me, queen of Makutano, on our way to State House. Hey, hey, Omera, I want my things and myself in one piece. Hey, Snake, put in some good meat for us. It is our first day in Makutano, and we want to celebrate. I wish Ben were here to see this. Have you heard from him? You're still in Jamaica, man. Sing Bob Marley's grave. <laughs> Hey, Stop, stop, put the cat down, put the cat down. Thank you. Hey, hey, you're jumping like that. You can fall down, you're jumping like a macaga. That should not worry you. What should worry you is whether you can take care of my stone. Do you think you can do that before oh, I finish moving? Of course we can. Eh. Eh? Now what are you carrying here? My dad's is, I hope. Eh? Eh, no, I'm no, so no, hungry. No. no. I was afraid it was going to get broken with all the moving. Mm. Eh? I just got it framed. I can't believe it. It's been three months since we were married. <laughs> it's so beautiful. Eh. Eh? Just imagine here what Anna is saying. Hey. At your house is haunted by ghosts. Yeah? I didn't say it has ghosts. I said it is just haunted. Then what haunts it? Eh? How do you expect How? me to know? Eh? All I know that is that if I were you, Makareta, mm. I would not move in there. First, you have been cast by Chira. And your going in there will become worse. Mm, look at ah, 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 what? You Shut up. Are you going to scare her to death? Huh? Bitch. Well, what's going on? Rise and shine! The early bird catches the worm. The what? The worm. You know, when you walk... Oh, when... yes, we're moving in today. I only have myself to pack. Thank God. Nancy insisted on moving everything to Nairobi in one trip. Uh, how is she? Uh, and the baby? Oh, they're fine. Mm -hmm. Nancy begins her course in two weeks. Ah, good for her. <laughs> so, you, you're happy to be leaving? Well, I'll be glad to see my family. Uh, but I'll miss Makutano and my friends. <laughs> Mr. Makutano, we finished. Very well. Thank you all for your help. You know, I could put the things inside if you want. George, you've done enough already. It is Saturday. Go and enjoy yourself. Yeah, I wish. You know, I have to take Selena to the doctors, then help the others with their homework. I really can't. Why don't you let me take care of that? As a way of saying thank you. Yes, yeah. hey, sir. That would be great. Hey, thanks. Take this part. Thank you, baby. That is very thoughtful, Selena. Okay, let's go. Oh. Hey, Patu. Come in. Are those the kids from Washington's orphanage? Uh, no. Washington's uh, orphans were all fostered in two homes in the community. Uh, we had talked of uh, taking them on. But we decided we were not ready for such commitments. Yeah. George's parents died two months ago. Yeah. Matano had helped his father organize his finances. And he said when he died, <laughs> uh, Matano should take care of the children and the land. Yeah, their father wanted them to live together. Mm -hmm. So now they live in what is called an orphan-led household. Yeah. Uh, George is the head of the household. But we and other members of the community help out whenever we can. Oh. <laughs> Good. Well, these boxes are not going to move themselves. Small Sharon, small Sharon. What a wonder you are. You're brighter than the moon and the morning star. Must be the, uh, What? I'm writing a poem for small Sharon. Did you know that small Sharon is in the songs of Solomon? Her love inspires me much more than all the cows in this world. Just seeing her every day, just smelling her every day, eh? just hearing her laugh, and today she was wearing her red scarf. Whatever! Just do it quietly, okay? Come on, don't bite my head off just because you've not heard from Red. This has nothing to do with Red. You're just annoying me, okay? I mean, it has been three months now, and uh, she hasn't called, or maybe she's written new letters, but they've got lost in the poster. Or maybe she's too busy with her life as a superstar to care. Okay. Hi guys, some warm milk, please. Hey, Dr. Charles, we're having a special offer. Buy one, get one free. No, uh, just have one bottle. We have so much milk at the moment, we can't sell it all. Huh? It's rainy season, you see. Cows always produce much more milk. Speedy. <laughs> the man wants some milk, not a lecture. Thank you, Pippi. 
Have you heard from Red? Well, surely you must have had something by now. Something I say? Just women trouble. <laughs> Can you believe that stupid dressmaker? I told her I wanted an ivory wedding dress. The fool went and made me a white one. Have you tried walking today? Yeah, no change. Could you please pass me another pillow? Now, let's talk about our wedding vows. And how is my girl doing today? I'm okay. I'm a bit weak, but uh, so beautiful. Thank you. I hope Caris is paying you enough attention. Yes, he is. I don't know what I'll do without him. Caris should be at your beck and call. The bullet was made for him. It should be him lying there, not an innocent girl. I should be getting back to the bar. I have a delivery due. I'll see you later. Thank God those gangsters are now in prison. I couldn't sleep if they were on the loose. Doctor, tell me, Gerald is still not walking. I'm afraid not. Isn't that a little strange for someone who was shot in the shoulder? The bullet doesn't appear to have done any damage. But she might be suffering from post-traumatic stress disorders. These things take time. Well, I guess this is it. I'll leave you to settle in. Oh, here. Yeah. You might want to start up an agency in Nairobi. No, you keep <laughs> it. I have a job already. And you're good at finding out things. Maybe you'll discover where the ghost of this house has been hiding. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. <laughs> eh. And what is so funny about ghosts? Come on. You know very well he's just joking. I did not find it funny. You know very well there are no such things as ghosts. Ah, 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 ah. Come, help me move this table. Hey. 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 Are you okay? Did you take your AR vision time today? I'm fine. Moving can make anybody tired, not just those who are HIV positive. You're right. I'm sorry. We don't need these tools here anymore. This room is covered in up. I've had these tools for years. My children will sit on them as I fed them. We don't have any children, so we can throw them. What is wrong with you today? Huh? It is not about the stools. Oh, you are angry because I refuse to take in the orphans, eh? Why don't you just talk about it instead of choking on it? No, I'm not angry about any orphans. One wife is enough for me. I'm just trying to create enough space for everything in this house. You help me move the sofa. Maybe we'll create enough room for your stools. Well, put it near the window. The other side is better. No, the window will give the room more space. I know more about fixing than you. Ah, I know, but... Sometimes I would never understand Macarita, eh? Why would she jump from the frying pan right into the boat? What boat are you talking about? You were at her wedding and you saw it, eh? Her brother-in-law said she will inherit the chira. The cars! The chira? Have you been smoking pagi? Eh? The chief threw out this brother-in-law. Eh? Don't you remember? And the chief said that a woman cannot be hated against how you. That is the law, but this is tradition, eh? And the curse is still there, whatever me, you, or the chief says. Now, Macareta has made it worse by moving into that hounded house, eh? She is asking for bad spirits. Well, Dauko, you're just jealous of because they, 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 things have been going so well. <laughs> Why would I be jealous of a person who has AIDS? What? Speed that saliva now, speed it. Listen to me, Anna. Margaret does not have AIDS. She is HIV positive, and she's worth 10 of you. Don't you ever learn anything? If I ever hear you say one more negative thing about her illness, I'll have you in jail, and you can have that baby there. Now you pay for the Uji in the morning, and the medical out money. Mama Mpoka, I will pay later. Now. But I'm sorry for the things I just said. It is the cup in my teeth. What? Sometimes I say things that I do not mean. They just slip out. Listen to me, Mama Mpoka. Eh? You know how truck drivers are. Papa Tomasi came home the other day and took all my money. He probably went to spend it with other women. Mama Mpoka, you know how it feels. You've been there. He took everything. 
I'm tired of your excuses. Every time it is due to remove your money. I swear, Mama Mboka, I had the money. Just listen. I came here so that you can lend me some money, so that you can buy some food for me and my children. Look at my stall. It has nothing. Then you have no business being pregnant again. Eh? You can't even take care of the children you already have. Huh? I know, but Papa Thomas says family planning is against God. Benina, please help me. Anna. Come and sell this with you and work for me. <laughs> Thank you, Mama Mpoka. Thank it's okay. Hey, hey, hey. Just go and do work before I change my mind. It's no use. Forget it. I will have it fixed tomorrow. It will not be the same. Nonsense. A frame is a frame and glass is glass. We have a lot to do. It is this house. Stop talking nonsense. It is haunted. Just like Anna said, it is cursed. Just like me. You know very well that is not true. Things get broken every time people move. It's just one of those things. Then why did Albert and Nancy leave? Why? I don't want to live here. I, I don't want to live here. I don't. I now see. Look, Cheryl, I'd really love to pay your rent, but I'm a little short on money this month. What do you want me to do? I'm stuck here because of you. <sighs> okay. I'll find the money. Hello. Would you like samuchi? It is fresh and the fermented one really works with the foods. <laughs> you can't sell that in here. This is a health center. I'm, I'm sorry. I didn't know. Wait. I've not seen you here for the antenatal clinic. Oh, uh, the clinic? I was planning to come next month. You know it is expensive. And my husband took all my money. I... You know very well, you don't have to pay for a tenet or the government hospital. I'll be okay. Anna, it's very important you come to the clinic and check if you and your baby are well. How about if you start now? I can't. I have to sell my body. How about this afternoon? Say four o'clock? Sour. Sour. Miss you too. We will never forget how you helped us with our stock border problem. Please come back and visit. And I will give you a free haircut and shave. And we'll give Nancy the best beauty treatment she's ever had. Well, with offers like this, we'll definitely be back. Goodbye. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. Sorry for shouting at you, my speedy. It's just, I'm tired of everyone asking me about Red. They just miss her too. Yeah, but you can never know how I feel. And I hear her song on the radio and I just can't get it out of my mind. Song? That's it. Mm -hmm. That's Dick pretending to be a butcher. Hmm? What is Morani thinking? Crossing down his bookshop and employing him? This I can tell you, Margaret. I will never ever buy meat there. I have a feeling this man can sell you a snake, pretending it was a mutura. Mm. Are you listening? I can't help thinking Anna was right. Eh? I've had nothing but bad luck since I moved into that house. What are you talking about? <laughs> Me and Matano cannot agree on anything, on where to put the things. Eh? And my wedding picture, mm. it is destroyed. Then I cut my finger. Huh? Cutting a figure does not mean you're cast. It just means you've cut your finger. Yeah, well, hey, <laughs> my ring, my wedding ring, it is gone. Gone where? It couldn't have just disappeared. <laughs> Chira, that's Chira, Yawa. It is trying to destroy my marriage. Can't you see? Nonsense. You must have lost it on the way here. Now all you have to do is walk back, and I'm very sure you're going to find it. <laughs> go, go, go before your husband sees you. Go before he sees you. <laughs> Mama, <please. laughs> I can't see you now. 
I just came to tell you that your magic worked. Hey, hey. hey. the one stopping your husband sleeping with other women. No, they want to make me rich. Hey. Look. <laughs> I believe that is porridge. First, I had no food hey. and no money for my stall. And then I spring gold your hub into my tea. Hey. Now I have a chop and food for my children. <laughs> My magic is so powerful, I told yes, you. Yes, Mama Bima, you are mm. the best witch doctor <laughs> I've ever been to. <laughs> Do you know what will happen to me if people find out? If I hear you've been telling anyone, eh, I will turn you into a snake. Mama Bima, I, I promise I haven't told anyone. Are you sure? Yes. I, I, I have some work to do. I thought we had finished moving. Hey, yes, I was just trying some different angles. Uh, I've been looking for you. Hey. I wanted to give you... Hey, I've remembered I have to tell Mama Mboga something. Nakuja! I hope it's not another love poem. I hope it is. I love his poems. You're like a beautiful brown cow. <laughs> You want to kill me with shock? What are you doing? Writing a song for small Sharon. But it's harder than I thought. Of course, not for somebody like you with your musical talent. No way. Oh, please. No. Just put my beautiful words into your beautiful Ma music. No. Please, just like that. Ma Speedy, we are too busy for songwriting today. Come back to work. No. You don't understand. Look at Pipi. Please, He's please. grown into a man. Please, don't <laughs> even go there. He's too young for you. You keep your eye on the good doctor. Come on. You have to have a plan B, just in case. Bernadette will kill you. <laughs> what is she doing? My goodness, don't tell me she's pregnant again. Allah, Kwan, you never noticed? Mm -hmm. Me, I knew her pregnancy from the first month. Her husband is a truck driver. He comes, gets her pregnant, then goes. And why is Margaret throwing up her hands like that? <laughs> Maybe the queen of Makutano has lost her crown. <laughs> <laughs> what shall I do? I told you it is Chira. I thought I'd lost it. But then I remembered I took my ring off when I went into the bathroom. When I went back, it had vanished. The gods are unhappy. Huh? It is a sign, isn't it? <laughs> about my marriage. Forget about your marriage. That is the easy part. First, if you get this curse, you will run mad. Oh, God, what shall I do? God helps people who help themselves. First, you need to find someone to remove the curse and protect you when you're in that hounded house. Who? Oh. I know of someone, but if I don't... If you know someone, you have to tell. No but. Hey, I'm afraid of being done into a snake. I have an appointment with Dr. Charles at the clinic. Anna, please. This is a matter of life and death. Please. Please. Go. Sweet Sharon, sweet Sharon, what a wonder you are. <laughs> Is this a new marketing technique? Ah, buy some milk and hear a song. Not the way he's singing. Mr. Matano, would you like some milk? Two for one rainy season special. Ah, so business is going on very well. Yeah, but it's a pity we can't be like this during the dry season, though. You should look into silage, then. Look into what? Silage. This is when you conserve uh, forage for cows during the wet season and use it in the dry season. You sleep under mosquito netana. You know, with your pregnancy, you stand at high risks. Yes, the children and the father sleep under a mosquito net. Except when he comes home drunk, then he rolls over on the floor. I let him spend the whole night there. Listen to me, Anna. It can be very dangerous giving birth at home. You mean like Frikona? I heard she bled to death. People say it was because she was circumcised, but I think it is because the midwife was not too good. If Frigona had given birth at a hospital, she may not have died. And it's true, you know, there can be very serious complications during birth for women who are circumcised. But I had all my six children at home and they're all fine. But the risk keep getting high after each pregnancy. Perhaps you ought to convince your husband to come with you during one of your appointments to discuss this further. I also need to discuss with you both about some family planning options you might like to use after the birth. Yeah. 
Josiah would never step foot in here and he will beat me up when I tell him about family planning. I didn't want to have any more children after my last. They spend all my money and food. I guess I'll just have to find a way to feed this one. You'll have two more mouths to feed. Anna, you're going to have twins. Open your eyes. Don't look at me. I have cleansed you, Margaret. But now you have to expel the evil spirits before the chira will be removed. How do I do that? Smoke this inside your house every time you're alone. The smoke from the leaves will expel the evil one. It is called dancing the smoke. After a week, the chira will be removed. Uh, are you swear it is going to work? I have the hand, Margaret. Never doubt that. Uh, and my ring, will I find it? Ah, uh, uh, well, y yes, you will find it when you are ready. And when you are a true believer, I will show you out. Huh? You are finished. Just believe Margaret, eh? And the ladies and gentlemen of the house will watch over you. Okay? Go, 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 go. No, no, I can't. You do it, please. Please, please, tell her this is dedicated to you by my speedy, your one and true ever love. Ah, this is where we shall sit and watch the world go by. It's a good place for your stools, don't you think? Mm. But here you can move them. No, 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 no. It, it, it's perfect. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry about today. <laughs> I'm sorry too. You know, it's going to be all right. Living here, I mean. <laughs> uh, I, I have to tell you something. Huh? Wait, me first. Close your eyes. <laughs> it worked! It worked! Well, no, it worked! Well, what worked? Uh, nothing. Uh, my prayers, I guess. I will never take it off again. I will never take it off again. <laughs> That's very good. Ah. I have something else for you. Hey. Abracadabra. Hey. See, hey. you, just like magic. Hey. The wood is not as good as the other one, but. Ah, 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 it is beautiful. Hey. <laughs> it is even more special. Hey. Hey. Ah, 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 ah. You know, I'm looking forward to spending the rest of my life here with you. <laughs> <laughs> sweet Sharon, sweet Sharon, how wonderful you are. You're much brighter than the moon. This is the. 